We are on our way to see Sando. I hope I said that right. Sando. Messing now. I'm just saying. The, you know, this stuff we're gonna run our batteries before we even start. <laughs> this is a very good angle. Okay, gracias, gracias. Yes. Thank you. Just come Thanks. up when you're <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have the one and only. You are, like, I don't know if I pronounced your name correctly earlier on because I actually did a video coming to you. Yeah. Sandor. That's fine. That's fine in Hungarian. Uh, how, do you, how do you actually say yeah? How the actual pronunciation of the, your name? It's like Shandor. Shandor, okay. Yeah, Even but I'm okay with that because everybody is like Godish. calling me so, and I'm I'm used to it. Okay, so so, so say, it's okay for me, Sandor. Sh okay. Shandor, Shandor, and Sane? Shuba, Shuba, Shandor. Yeah? Shubar. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> We're all gonna get it right. Yeah. <laughs> I have to really, really thank this man for being patient. I think we spent like an hour <laughs> setting Maybe. everything up and trying to find the perfect angle. So just for that already, I, I thank you yeah, very, very no much. No problem. I just got to know all the equipments you have here. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to have to make proper interviews? <laughs> Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, yeah. So, we spent some time talking and yeah. I got to learn a little bit about you. Yeah. But you have to, unfortunately, divulge some of that information to these guys out there. No, it's no problem. So, so your, your story in SFM, yeah. how you got here and why you are here. So it's a quite long story. <laughs> uh, what part should I begin? Maybe a little bit introduction. Maybe a little again, like I always said, like I said to Clara. Okay. This is your show. Okay. If you want to make it long, make it long. If you want to make it short, okay. which this is your thing. Go okay. for it. Okay. So uh, maybe maybe I start with that. That uh, uh, I was born in Estonia. Yeah. Uh, and. Uh, my family is everybody is Hungarian, but in the Soviet Union they just went out there. So I was born there, and I was living there for 19 years. And uh, when I applied to the university, I began it with there as an economist, and then I continued it in here in Budapest, in Hungary, and uh, I finished it here. And I'm just kind of stuck here but I really love to be here yeah so I'm now about 14 13 14 years here in Budapest and uh, I love to live here because I'm kind of I feel that uh, you know you are in the middle of Europe you can uh, go any place you want here yeah, because yeah, yeah. You, if you want skiing you have mountains here if you want to go to the uh, sea then you can also so so everything is kind of near and uh, also the relatives and you know we have cheap the plane flights as well, tickets man. the like, culture yeah Hannah and I fell so in love with the culture over here very like family oriented yeah that's 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 awesome that you just come out of nowhere here in Budapest just to just to be here for six months and and to work from here that's that's great 
Oh, it's great. Dude. So as I said, I came from Estonia and uh, I came. I finished university. I was doing some stuff, work, trying, looking for opportunities. The all the way down when uh, studying and uh, and after university, I had my one and last job actually. <laughs> I, I finished as an economist yeah. and I, I applied to a multinational company okay. uh, uh, as a market analyst. Okay. I had actually one goal, we didn't speak about that. The goal was to get to know a big company, how is it working, yeah. what, are, what is its structure, uh, what decision, decisions uh, do they make, what uh, different kind of projects they have yeah. and uh, so get to know this corporate world because I was really interested in business uh, uh, at that time and, and I, want, I, I didn't have anybody in my family who was doing business, who, whom I could ask something, I just had to figure it out myself. So you already knew what you wanted? Uh, yeah, I wanted actually business and, and the basic of it, uh, the, the thought, came actually really early. There were guests coming uh, uh, to us, I was I think 12, 14 years old and, uh, and uh, I was asking my parents, what are they doing? Because they have money, they are happy, they have kind of freedom, and why don't we have these things? And and uh, and then they try to explain to me what business is, and I was kind of okay. I want to go on that path to learn it and to kind of uh, uh, search search for uh, opportunities yeah. that I ca I could learn it because. University is great, but you still don't learn the things how to run exactly. a business. You maybe learn that how to operate it when it's big or, or when it's already built up. Yeah. But you really don't learn the practical side. What, what problems do you face when you begin yeah, business? Yeah. So I went to, to this job as a market analyst. I was working like a hell a lot. Uh, I because I don't know probably they saw that uh, I have a I, I I make things done yeah I, 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 I have a, I don't stop until I get things done you have so, a good work ethic yeah and uh, and uh, I, I'm with everything that if I'm interested in something or, or if I'm doing something yeah that I, I don't want to have complain about my work and uh, and that, that's why I had a lot of overtime. I, I was in a group, I was in a group which had a lot of overtime, a lot of work. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, it was actually in German language. So we talked about this Kaffee Klatsch. <laughs> how, how did this name come? And I, I didn't just know because he's living in Sweden. <laughs> we are have the interview in Hungary and it's yeah, international it's man. international yeah. I, 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 we might not fit it in this uh, this segment because this is uh, about yeah. you but I will actually do a separate video on how Cafe Clutch came about okay okay so uh, so I was in the in the company over time a lot of our time uh, I learned the things I had to learn there yeah in three months and then I wanted to learn something new because I already saw the structure how, how does a multinational company work but uh, but yeah and I was like okay I feel I'm done I want to uh, leave leave my job but then after three months there came an opportunity I got a, a, a manager of a small group and then after three months I like I got bored again <laughs> because I, I, I learned uh, those things I had yeah, to do yeah. and then after three months again and every three months something came and I was there almost one and a half year yeah uh, so that's when I quit it my yeah. job and uh, and I started a, a small business uh, we made I had a business partner yeah. and we made a restaurant uh, it was a soup bar called soup culture and uh, actually 
we didn't know how to do it because we were like economists we loved to eat and that was all <laughs> yeah. and we like to actually make some food at home so but that was all and uh, and uh, uh, it was like six years ago six years ago we uh, run this uh, restaurant we opened in meanwhile another one it was a pasta bar it was a pasta culture called and uh, and uh, as I told you today, like we sold it this year, we quitted it because kind of the env environment and uh, everything changed. Yeah. It was here in the center of Budapest and uh, so the environment changed, the our customers changed uh, and, and we actually had no clue how to make marketing. No traditional, no uh, online so we tried some things but but we really didn't know how to do it and uh, and we quitted it so uh, now I decided this year that I want to do something that uh, yeah. that I do it myself so uh, I took some time off this year we were traveling a lot with my wife around Europe I had a lot of city breaks and uh, in meanwhile, I, I saw an ad on YouTube about SFM and then my journey began with SFM actually in the middle of August. So I'm, I'm actually surprised because it's not that, not too long ago, man. No, no, it's absolutely not. But as, as of I, I refused everything uh, that came from my family or friends. Do you, don't you want to go to work to get some money or some salary or something? I was like, okay, I think I've made a lot of, I've put a lot of energy in my past six years. Yeah. Uh, and uh, now I, I'm, I have the results. I have some money like uh, gathered or how to say. Yeah. And, uh, and, and this is the most important uh, timing. I think to begin with something because when when I anything I begin with this year I thought that huh? yeah. uh, I will do it in the next five years ten years so it will determine my future my 30s it will determine what what will I do and I was I was thinking of that I want to do something alone and I want to do uh, something that is meaningful I'm enjoying and and gives me much more freedom that I had before as a fan. I don't think you, you realize how lucky you are. What do you mean uh, lucky? Remember I told you earlier on that I uh, it must be like 14 different places I've worked in different yeah, countries, yeah. right? And I had this nagging feeling because the reason why I left those jobs was because I knew I didn't want to work for someone, right? Yeah. But, and, and, and here's, the, here's the strange thing. I think the longer you have employment, the more dependent you become on it. Yeah. Do you understand? Because it's like, in your mind, because I think that's the, that's the difference between a, uh, how a, a successful millionaire or billionaire thinks and us average people. You know, we go to school, we learn yeah. to... You know, you go, you finish school, you go to university, and now you use this degree to go get a job. Yeah. But there's no one that's actually teaching you to go find or go find your thing, your own thing, right? Yeah, that's right. So the longer you're in the working environment, the, the longer you're in the rat race, the more um, you get stuck on that. Yeah, because it becomes very important, and that's exactly what I was telling you when we were sitting in a restaurant that I started last year August. Right? Yeah. And it seems like at this point you seem to know more. Okay. You know? Yeah. The, uh, about, you know, what, like the ins and outs of, of SFM yeah. than I do. Because it's like I was still prioritizing my job because I saw this as this is where my money is coming from. Yeah. You know? And you've eliminated that. You have. Put your foot in a, in, a, in a rat race and you kind of thought, I don't want this. Yeah. So you are like 
and pardon the 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 comparison but it's like you are like you know when you corner a a wild animal yeah they have nowhere else to go just uh, yeah and you are there <laughs> yeah yeah we, we can Be because think about it, you 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 like you will make this work, but it's like inside you, it's like you have to make this work. There's, yeah. there's, 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 there's a part of you inside that says, no, I, I know I don't want to go there. And I've been through yeah. running your own business and it went the way it went, but it didn't discourage you. Yes. You know? Yes. Because what happens to a lot of people, and I've seen it, they, they do their own thing. They have their own business. It didn't go well. And instead of taking that experience and saying, okay, let's learn and move on they go back into the rat race because they think this is safer that's interesting because i don't say i didn't have the weakness yeah uh, when i uh, sold the business because because i was thinking of that of going back but then i the, the, then i uh, thought back what was i feeling when i was working as a market analyst i was working there from eight to five and uh, I remember waking up, I remember then the whole day I was so exhausted, my mind was totally tired. Yeah. And I came home, I made something for dinner and the day was over. And, uh, and, and this thought shocked me again. Like, I don't want to go back in that, yeah. in that uh, life. I, do, I want. And uh, this car you were talking about discouraging, about the... I kind of, if somebody... Uh, will ask me uh, that he he wants to open a, a restaurant i will tell the uh, the information i know i have uh, to to uh, like like to, not to encourage to think about starting a restaurant because it Obviously. might seem from the outside easy but but there's hell a lot of work there there is uh, uh, okay you have you have really to you have to have really big commitment to that and you have to be prepared that uh, that you kind of you have to be with with the mind in in that every time yeah. every minute in at night everything can happen to to that they can call you so i got a lot of times calls 4 a.m 5 a.m a.m that there's something wrong in the kitchen and then i had to get up so so after a while it was like a oh, bad feeling that i don't want to be um, dependent yeah. like on, on, on these things I, 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 I wanted to change it so uh, so but this was actually I, I, I looked at this restaurants as a business so I I, I I as I said as an economist no cook so not this this was not my life's goal this was my first uh, kind of business that uh, that I ran so uh, so long and and i got some experiences but i didn't know anything got uh, anything else, else to run because because let's be honest when when you want to start a business the the most easiest is to make maybe make a coffee place yeah yeah, yeah. so you need coffee some machines and customers and yeah. people to work so uh, food is kind of a little bit uh, more uh, complicated yeah but but yeah, it's it's still it has to have that mindset to yeah. run it. So it was my first business, my my experience uh, uh, around around this everything. So when I saw it, I I was weak. I was thinking about to to go back to work, but uh, but then yeah, as you said, I was like I know I don't want to go back. I just want to make it work, and I knew that that kind of freedom that I was passionate for, I wanted, yeah. uh, online business can, can give me. And actually, until this year, I didn't even know that there is some kind... I didn't know what affiliate marketing is. I heard this expression, only this phrase, only this year. I, I heard a lot of... Uh, I, I, I'm like... I was thinking about that, that uh, this year I, I, I realized that I got six years out of the technology uh, 
development. So yeah. I don't know what what happened in the past six years because I was fully focusing on on my business. Yeah. And uh, and for example, before the re uh, the business, uh, I was reading more books, more self developing uh, things. I was uh, I was watching videos and so on more than I when I was m making the business. Okay. So now I make I'm so happy again because now I'm like doing that again. Yeah, yeah, I'm self developing myself, and through SFM and also uh, and uh, and doing business. So now I have time for because they are like uh, side by side yeah, yeah, yeah. to each other, and and I and I love this state. I'm really happy. <laughs> but now. isn't it like? I find it so weird because it's like it seems like everyone like okay at least a lot of people that you meet in SFM were going through the same journey some somewhere along the line because like when you again like we had this discussion earlier yeah. on but it's like when you're talking I I, I see myself yeah because I was doing the uh, like uh, self development reading all these books trying to like you know and again like you when I started SFM I didn't really know that much about uh, like affiliate marketing and and I was an IT oh I am in IT okay but it, I, for some reason, these things just never really... Yeah, as we talked about it, that uh, as more we talk to each other yeah. about these topics and about these things, about our journey, yeah. the more we get to know ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it was, uh, as I told you, it was, it was amazing in London. We have this exercise just to tell about our vision, our our mission, our doings, what, how, how do our room look like where, where we do the work and everything. And it was, you never tell it, nobody, uh, uh, me, for example, but, uh, and, and it was, it was awesome to share it yeah. because as you, uh, as this goes out of your mouth, you just, you, you also get to think about that yeah. and, and then you get to know yourself better. And then you see yourself kind of out of the box, and and I, I I loved it, yeah. Connecting it with everybody, and and everybody has the different environment they come from. Yeah. But we are on the same, same. journey. Yeah. And, and 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 the awesome was that we have same problems. Everybody thinks that oh this problem is definitely only mine. Nobody. Uh, has the same problems, but yes, they have. They are struggling with the camera. <laughs> they are <laughs> they are struggling with talking, with writing, and and uh, taking actions. And and it turns out that oh, you are not alone. So so you encourage yourself with each other, with the other ones. So to to make action because you know the answer, what you have to do. Yeah. But you still make excuses. To do something else or not to start doing things and that's the same still with me I, I'm still making some excuses and and I know I'm making excuses I yeah. just have to start this is exactly why I want to do this yeah I, it's it's uh, and I remember we had this discussion early on because yes. it's my helpline you know like I had my Clara I had Erica like you know they were my lifelines in in the sense that yeah. they force me it's like you know us meeting like this now right you could go home today go work on your modules put an ad out tomorrow you're going to be on a stage you there next to like with justin wolf <laughs> and they're saying shandor you know congratulations on reaching this milestone blah 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 i know you do you understand yeah. I, I know you and, I, and now like this I've met you yeah. and I'm watching you and I'm thinking oh my god that's my goal I like I, I, yeah. this is something tangible yeah. because I, I, I know you I, I, I see you there yes. and, and it kind of encourages me to keep going keep digging yeah. because you know you were able to do it you know yes and with, with, with everything that's and, and all the people and everything that's going on our messages the same like we saying we want to put out ads and we yeah. want other people to to obviously join the SFM because we think it's a good thing we and we think it's beneficial. exercise the communicating like. communicating but we also do it to ourselves yes yes you know yeah because when you're talking and I see I, I, I you know you talking about something or you saying something or like you said 
that you are talking about a particular problem and you think, oh, I have the same problem. It's not, then I'm not in yeah. such a bad state. Yes, yes. You know? Yes, that's what I meant. Yeah, that you don't feel yourself so bad because because this is not your, this is like common. Yeah. So that's that's why uh, when, when you are... Uh, uh, on the webinars and, and you're afraid of uh, asking questions exactly and now now uh, after London I realized that okay if I'm asking this a it's lot of people a lot of people have the same question exactly and, and they have uh, like they can get answers for that yeah and and uh, yeah it's 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 great it's awesome my biggest issue was stepping out I had huge issues with that and like I said like when uh, with the visionary call and the video yeah. that they showed on me yeah. I it shocked me it shocked me to remission so it I was went too back early to in your journey <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah and and it's like I I never wanted to be in front of the camera yeah. I, so I didn't want to be in the limelight and now it's like okay I forced myself to go in front of the camera but now they they you know they put the spotlight on yeah yeah you know maybe a couple of words of this uh, as i as i told you today yeah that uh i i i don't remember when i posted last time on facebook <laughs> uh, a couple of years ago definitely in instagram it was also like uh, i don't know one one and a half one and a half, two years ago. Yeah. So I just wanted to stop. I didn't have any photos from travelings from myself, just with uh, together with my wife and of her. And uh, I, I had not not too much material to yeah. use on my website. And uh, and uh, I never did no video of myself. So this is also a common problem like a lot of people have that because they they were kind of act active in in social media yeah. and, and 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 they finished it kind of or paused it and now they have to be active and and uh, so we are on the same same path we had we are gone through this so so no, there's nothing bad actually yeah. about about it no and and what i found is that because like I said, when I disconnected, so when I disconnected, yeah. things slow down. Yeah. And why do they slow down? Because you're no longer connected and you, you're not feeding off this energy. Yeah. Right. So because as long as I we keep in touch and follow up and hey, how are you doing? How was things? Yeah. Oh, I'm doing this now. I'm doing that now. Oh, okay. Shanto's doing that. Yeah, you get okay, maybe motivated. I should look. Yeah. yeah. Let, let's like maybe ch check this. Or you'll say, you know what? I saw this thing like you were telling me about. Uh, what was this? This web uh, convertry? Convertry, yeah. yeah. And you're saying it's like, oh, let me check that up. Like, then you follow it up, and then, uh, so so it's like, you yeah. know, it, it's it's like I'm beginning to. And remember, I said to you, it's like for me, it takes me some time to understand. I'm beginning to understand more about the mentorship. Yeah. Because it's not only about Justin Wolf and Jay Kubasak and yeah. Stuart Ross. It's not only about them. It's about us individually. Yeah. Like we are mentors to each other, you know? Yes, as you told, when, when you are uh, with uh, other people, like on the, uh, on the journey, on yeah. the same level, and, and you go and, and then uh, you get connected. Actually, I was in this, I, I am in these Facebook groups, but, but uh, when we connected in London, like physically, I was actually afraid of that. I, to talking to strangers <laughs> kind of <laughs> to, what do what do what do I tell them and, how, and it just turned out so good and we connected there then we are like uh, uh, on on Facebook we are we are talking to each other and and still uh, supporting each other and and it's it's really cool as you said yeah uh, he or she is doing something uh, they are telling about you these things and then you are thinking ah oh, they are uh, i can't just sit around i have to do either exactly. because because you are like in the same class you are a class exactly yeah, you are yeah. in the classroom and you are you are making ma making this together yeah. you, you have some you i think this feels like a little competition but this is a yes. healthy competition yeah yeah, yeah. it's true because it's true 
because and and uh, this is healthy competition so uh, between uh, ourselves and these mentors are also it's it, this SFM is built up so good that they won't let you really to sit down and relax because they are taking accountability of your doings yeah and, and uh, you have these these uh, I remember when I first was talking to Manta. I was 10 minutes before that in Zoom. I was sitting, I was waiting. Okay, I don't, I, I'm not fluent in English. I hope they will understand me. And uh, uh, I, I was really nervous. And then after, after the first pass, then the second, third, fourth, and I was like, okay, now I'm not afraid. I don't have to look perfect. This is not about it. And yeah, this is just about myself and, and uh, to improving myself. So I, I love it so much. You know, in the webinars, there are people are also all around their homes, rooms. They are just sitting. Nobody cares what you have like in the background or what are exactly. you wearing. It's just about what do you want to say Same. or what, why are you there? Uh, so that's why I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that uh, that I met SFM and not another one because uh, because I, I see that this is so well built up so that it's it depends only really really on us yeah. in this journey. I actually wanted to give a shout out to um, Amy Curran. Okay. So Amy was uh, when when I was doing my 90 day, she was like part of the group. Please don't tell me that's your stuff. Okay. I have to check. Okay. <laughs> One sec. Did it record the... Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it recorded. But it has like a, a cut off at 30 minutes. Ah. Ah, okay. So it has to do it. Oh, no. We, we were talking all the time. For the yeah. <laughs> because I don't see the red light <laughs> <laughs> if it has there. So, Amy. Yeah, so I wanted to say a uh, shout out to Amy because uh, the first uh, part we did of Coffee Clutch with uh, with Clara, uh, I actually referenced her because she was uh, someone that I used to listen to in previously and I really liked her stuff, right? And I hadn't realized that she hadn't completed a 90 day. I, I think uh, there's something she, she had to sort out and whatever. I'm not too sure what the story is, but I'm actually going to have a meeting with her. But the point is, that talk with Clara um, caused that she actually came back to the 90 day. Okay. And I think it was yesterday or the day before yesterday, she actually okay. started from one. Again, so, so yeah. re restarted that. Yeah, and, and, I, and you know, like that's what I'm really grateful for. So far, it's been Clara and yourself, because your messages, I mean, there must have been something Clara said. Yeah. That... That uh, Amy resonated with. Exactly. Yeah. And something you saying is gonna do something or change something's mindset. Yeah. That's... that's if there is only one person, then it was worth it. Yeah. So we never know. We are, yeah, we are influencing people around us, and talking to each other, it, it's it's powerful. Yeah. We have to, we have to, and I'm really happy to to have so much people around uh, uh, us in this community. I'm I'm now feeling kind of. I met so many new people. I connected with them physically, and now online. That uh, in the 90 day video journey, I so many videos you know <laughs> you can spend the whole day just yes. watching videos yes and uh, i realized that that you don't have to collect likes on that this is not about that no this is don't care about it this is only about yourself yeah this is uh, about your uh, improving your abilities talking to cameras yeah uh, and uh, improving your your story and structuring it yeah. so so this is everything about yourself this is this is not this is not about the others yeah so I, I it, it, it took me a couple of uh, I don't know 10 or 15 or 20 days when I passed it then then okay do I have to I, am I giving really value yes. to others uh, 
maybe maybe I, I don't have enough value in my videos that's why they don't like watch or see and then after after time I realized that there are so many videos you can't just it's watch every, yeah, yeah. yeah you had because because you just waste waste your day uh, on that no, no sorry not not waste yeah no I but, understand what but, you mean yeah but, yeah, yeah. Uh, but you have to you have to uh, put your time in taking action yeah. also because at the end of the day that is the main thing you have to do yeah. the real value comes from that when yeah. you when you uh, like place your ads outside in the world and people who are looking for help looking for opportunities or solutions for for their problems yeah. that's where you really help yeah because they even don't know what what we have here in SFM so so yeah just just do these videos you have to you have to do it for yourself it's it's not for others it's really good that that you give value and you think about it your content what yeah. you what you are talking about because you can still watch it yourself and you can feel that was it enough or this topic was not good because i'm doing it so i'm looking i'm looking it back time to time and uh, trying to improve myself so so it's only about it yeah to be more better on a video ad yeah i absolutely enjoy that conversation man and and i and i know in there there's like a gem for many many people to take with them and you know what's coming up next though no <laughs> question section okay uh, you saw when i did it uh, with clara uh no maybe i missed it yeah so what happens is we have a conversation it's yeah. your platform and then after that okay. comes the question section okay and basically in the question section you choose a number between 1 and 150 okay uh three times so okay. you have three questions okay and you answer those three questions so i don't ah. know what those questions will be okay and you just go for it